Hi, I'm James Lachlan, a former seven time world champion pipe band drummer. I want to share with you a little bit of a lesson inside my pipe band drumming inner circle. So every week I have a live practical lesson delivered either by myself or one of my amazing lineup of tutors. So you're gonna see a little snippet from that today. And hey, if you would like to get your hands on a free drumming course, a full video course called Drumming Transformation Week, just click in the link below. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put out so many video tutorials on pipe band drumming, so I hope you enjoy it. Right, so when we're starting to th think of uh, what we use to get the end product, which is the, is the music, we've got to be using each and every finger. So what I'm going to challenge you to do, you're all sitting there close to a drum pad or a table. I want you to think about putting your hand flat. I'm going to lift this up, right? So let's say this is your table or your, your drum pad, right? I want you to just, uh, we're going to start with the right hand and try and get that hand nice and so the fingers are flat, right? So we don't want any of this, right? Nice and flat, nice and relaxed. So what we want to do is start working on the, the finger that we use the least, right? So let's use that little pinky, right? And let's bring it up slowly. How high can you lift that? Right. So I'm not at a right angle, I'm not far off, but not at right angle. How far can you lift it? Right. And I want you just to kind of get a, a fix on that. Over the next 10 days, I want you to see if you can be raising that. And look, I don't want this to be happening where you're starting to lift other fingers off. They stay flat. Right. Let's just get a fix on that. Pop it down. Right. Lift up your ring finger. Now, look at the difference in terms of where I can get my ring finger to. Wow. Look, that compared to that massive difference right let me just spotlight this video to make sure on the record where is it spotlight there we go right so that is substantially different if you ask a piper to do this generally on the right hand they can do a much better job than i right middle finger oh wow easy pointer so what to for you are the most flexible. For me, it's the pointer and pinky, right? In fact, my pinky's gone up a little bit more now that I'm just warming it up. Right, let's try one, two. Look at that, when I wanted to pull that up, see what happened? Both went up. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's try four in each finger, starting with the pointer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I want you to get a bit of power in it. So I can lift it. I'll put it close to the mic. I can lift it and get this. Or I can lift it and get this. I want you to actually activate. I want you to have a little bit of power in that, okay? So let's try that. One, two, three. Four. Which one was the weakest there? You guys could hear it, right? It's this ring finger is the weakest. Which one should I be spending the most time developing? The ring finger, right? If I can develop that and get more dexterity, more flexibility, more power on that, it's going to transform what happens on the drum. Rather than focusing on the whole hand, we're going to get way more benefit from focusing on individual fingers. I've highlighted that that's the, the finger that's the least flexible, and that's the finger that's giving me the least power. So that's the finger I should be focusing on to get much better result long term. Let's try the left hand, right? So we'll just, again, just get a fix on flexibility. So pinky, get a wee fix on where you're sitting with that. Ring finger, my left ring finger actually lifts a little bit higher initially than my right. Middle finger, pointer, right? So let's now go one, two, three, four. And again, try and strike. Okay, I can hear such a difference. I'm way more powerful on my left ring finger. Why do you think that is? Well, if you think how we hold our stick, that ring finger is very active, very, very active. So whereas on the right, it's underneath, it's not doing as much. This middle finger does a lot, pointer does a lot. Okay, so what I want you to do again is four in each, one, two, 
three, four. Week. Right, did you hear that? Did you hear that, that uh, the comparison of that ring finger compared to the middle finger? Wow. So what I'm going to challenge you to do is think, okay, before I drum for the next 10 days, I'm going to warm up. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to test my flexibility. I'm going to try and get more power out of my fingers, right? And then with your thumb, best exercise there, and you, I've taught you this all before. And if you're looking at, at your palm, get your thumb to disappear. Right, so the whole thumb moves in, not just this. The whole thumb moves in and away, so it disappears. If you were to turn your hand towards me, like you're giving me a high five, right? You should be looking at the back of your palm, and your your whole thumb should disappear, not just the tip, right? Those little exercises are challenging. I don't know about you, but I can already feel it. This feels strange. It feels like tense, like a wee bit tense. So that's what I'm going to encourage you to do: is actually start to develop dexterity, flexibility, and strength in each finger because when we collectively develop each of those then your hand as a whole and your wrist and your forearm has better control precision dynamic capabilities and also you're going to be preventing injuries right because you're stretching you're opening up and you're know, taking time you know i don't know about you guys but i spend quite a bit of time just almost subconsciously now just stretching right taking time to stretch you know, pushing right forward, pulling that hand back. Spend quite a bit of time pulling each finger back. Sometimes they crack. It's not intentional, but sometimes they do. Just stretching each finger. The basics of this, this is what's going to give you longevity, right? And that's what we want. I don't want you drumming for a short time and then having to quit because of the pain. We want to be drumming for a long time. So stretching, flexibility, strength and conditioning, Yes, they are small in comparison to your femur, but they're equally as important. And I've had friends and family who've had carpal tunnel syndrome, have had to have surgery, and it's, it's led to them losing a lot of sensitivity in their fingers and their hands. And it's really impacted their ability to play piano, pipes, drums. I want to reduce the, those RSI type things. And we do that through being proactive. You know, if we can avoid the surgery, let's do it. Uh, but we've got to do the work every day. Now, once you've done that, great. That You could do that at 5 a.m. and not wake anybody up, right? But now let's get the sticks in the hand and let's make sure that we're able to use the stick and use each finger with the stick, right? And start to build that up. And to me, at the start of the year, it's a good time to be doing this because once we get into a year, we get into learning music and competitions. We forget about this basic so I'd, I'd love you just to get that concept in the start of the year. Let's start with the left hand. I don't know why, but I always jump to the, to the right hand first. So let's start with the left hand. Let's move this over a wee bit. Make sure I'm on original sound. There we go. So on the left, again, I would always start with the thumb. Let's start with the pinky, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be hooking the pinky on top of the stick. Okay, so we're actually going to be holding it like this, right? And you can see I'm cradling the stick like this. And we're going to be drumming like this. Okay, that's the pinky moving it, nothing else. The ring finger looks like it's close, but it's not touching the stick. So I want us to try and see if we can get that pinky doing the work. And if you're struggling to get it to move, just hold the stick in your hand and do this. Just like you were tapping the table a moment ago, tap the top of the stick. And the trick is you don't want your whole forearm to be doing this, right? We want it to be isolated. So you see that the wrist isn't moving, the forearm isn't moving. It's just the pinky. Now, Let's move it to the, the ring finger. So we're isolating every individual finger there, right? And let's try the middle finger.
and let's try the pointer. So you're bringing the pointer on top. And again, guys, I'm not saying that you're gonna drum like this, <laughs> but it's about getting each finger to build its strength, its flexibility, its dexterity. That's the whole point of this. Let's try the pointer finger. from a different angle. So I'm literally just doing this. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a clip from our inner circle. If you'd like to see the full video, head on over to pipebanddrumminginnercircle.com. I will put that description in the link below. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button because every week I upload a new video lesson. You don't want to be missing out on that. And please, while you're here, hit that subscribe button.